That's odd. It's pretty late for anyone to be out. The moon isn't even showing. Everything's so dark. And yet, you're here. No, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm just curious. We're quiet deep into the woods, you know. It's a bit weird for you to just be wandering. Unless you're lost. Me? That's a little different. I live here, in fact. You've kind of stumbled into my domain. I guess you humans would call it my home. You probably didn't even notice when you passed the threshold. I don't think many humans would. Of course I'm calling you a human. You look very human to me. Are you perhaps a spirit instead? Oh, I guess I didn't make it very obvious. <laughs> Sorry. You can't even see me in this light. Here. <laughs> that better? That's good. You see me then. That I'm not like you. A human. My ears. My tail. They're real. <laughs> I promise. You look pretty stunned. Never seen a fox spirit before. Or is it the wisps? They do look beautiful at night. Firelight is so harsh. So difficult to maintain. Just give these little guys a few head scratches. And they glow for hours. <laughs> hey, are you alright? You've, um, you've just been standing there since I showed up. Ah, uh, maybe you're not as familiar with my kind as I thought. Are humans really not accustomed to spirits anymore? Um, well, uh, I'm a fox spirit. Uh, like a kitsune? Sure, I suppose. I can't really say I've heard that term before. But if that's what allows you to understand what I am, then I am a kitsune. I'm the guardian of these woods, though I haven't really had to protect them, well, ever, <laughs> really. I inherited these grounds from my grandmother about 50 years ago, but by then, they'd been abandoned by humans. All that's left is this clearing and the little path that leads back to the outside world. Oh, I'm rambling. <laughs> Sorry. There's just not been much of a chance to talk to anyone lately. I'm still curious as to why I've found you so far from everything else. There isn't a single thing here that a still living human has witnessed. That makes you pretty special, I think. Insomnia. Mm, this... Isn't a word I've heard before. I'm sorry. Do you think you could elaborate a bit? Oh, it means you can't sleep. So you went for a walk. It's so late, though. The sun went down such a long time ago. I'm not too familiar with the latest human customs, but... I was under the impression your kind was diurnal. Mm, it's that bad, huh? Well, um, I know we just met, but... 
Is it all right if I do what I can to help? <laughs> Thank you. Come, sit with me. The grass shouldn't be too damp. Though it is a little cool to the touch. May I touch you? All right. Lean your head against me. And at your own pace, not too quickly, close your eyes. You'll still see the light of the wisps through your eyelids, but they'll fade with time. Listen to my voice, okay? Don't focus too hard, but just process what I'm saying passively. I think I'll tell you a story my grandmother once told me. It takes place a long time ago in a forest. This forest, in fact. You see, there was once this fox spirit. She was young, naive. A child who had yet to even gain her first tail. This fox spirit had just so recently inherited ownership of a domain. She was overjoyed. A domain of her very own, and one claimed so young. For the first few years, it was a dream. The fox spent her hours playing and laughing with the spirits that passed through. In all this time, she had never seen a human. Years were spent with only the wisps and nature spirits to keep her company. With how secluded her domain was, it was a shock when the first human arrived. She was so fearful of them initially. The foxes of her family had few nice words to speak of their kind. But the human simply played and danced and laughed with the fox, just like the spirits. And in very little time at all, they became friends. Though the spirits were fun, they made for poor conversation. The little fox finally had an outlet, a friend she could talk to and share her worries with. The sun fell like a stone into a still pond, and just like that, the human was gone. Days and nights passed overhead, the fox spirit hoping every single sunrise that her friend would come back. And they did. The friend returned in time, but they were different. The fox was closer to earning her first tail, sure, but the touch of years had barely changed her. Her human friend was not so lucky. They could still laugh, dance, play, but less. They danced for a much shorter time, laughed quieter, played but without the same joy they had all those years ago. The years had taxed not just the friend's spirit, but their mind. They acted so different to how the fox remembered like an entirely new person. The fox was saddened at the change, but also that, that she never got to see it happen, never got to be there for her friend during those moments. That evening, the two tried to relive what they once had, that day that had nestled itself inside the fox's heart. But they couldn't. It was... It couldn't be done. So the human left. A goodbye was shared. A wish to see each other again. A wish that wouldn't come true. 
<sighs> Sorry, I... I guess it's obvious, huh? I lied. My grandmother never told me that story. The fox is... It's me. That was thousands of days ago, though. I don't even know how many years. I even got my first tail. I wish they could see it. Ah, you've already fallen asleep. I didn't think it would be that fast. Since you can't really hear me anymore, I guess that means I can be a bit more honest. I know we didn't talk that much. I know you just came here to clear your mind. We never played or laughed or anything like that. But please, please come back soon. You're always welcome in my forest. Good night. Rest well. <laughs>